Hey guys, welcome back. Richie here from RW Hobbies, part number five of my Tamiya F35 build. So this week, my favorite part, we're gonna get into the painting. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey y'all, welcome back. And we can get going with painting, as I mentioned. So last week we got it to this stage, looking very awesome, all ready to go, nice. Beautiful fit, going to go no problem at all. And um, ready for paint. So the first thing I did at the very end of last week, if you remember, I just forget, forget um, XF54 sprayed the, the clear parts um, canopy there. So it shows from the inside. So I always forget to do that. So I did that first and then we'll hit the, hit the, yeah, the primer over the top. So obviously we're gonna be camouflage gray, but we're gonna do the aggressor markings as you should know by now, um, if you're following the build series. And that's gonna be this guy right here. Zoom out a little bit in the camera, you can see that way. So basically, basically just going to be camouflage gray with um, FS 36495, which is lighter gray, or guns 338 I'm going to use. Um, and that's going to be lighter gray, just going to mask off. Um, we're going to paint the gray, and mask off and paint this guy um, basically on, top, on the upper surface um, and the sides for the splinter camo. Just breaks it up, makes it a little bit more interesting. We're just doing camouflage gray all over. Um, MRP is the way to go. They have a great best color. I've tried all different camouflage grays and their MRP 280 is um, for me the best um, looking F35 color I've used. Clip the lighter parts, which you see, you know, the nose and various other parts on this, the leading edges is gonna be um, Guns 306 or FS 36270. And that kind of rolls out the paint line up for today. So these three colors right here. I'm gonna do something a little different this time around. I'm not gonna do any pre-shading. I'm gonna just go straight to do, do priming and we'll get all the um, color variations and post-shading. So a little bit different to what we usually do. Um, so what we're using black, I'm using gray, and this is the surface of 1200. Um, so I usually, usually, usually use, I'm having a hard time talking today. Usually use um, this is the surface of black, 1500 black, as you know, and come back with white into like a shadow coat. This time around, no pre-shading, just straight gray. 1200. Um, I do have some 1500s, I think, in gray too, but I've got to use this one up. So 1200 gray, just coat all over it, um, get it primed up, and then we'll come back and we'll start adding the camouflage colors. Okay, so we got this all primed up, looking really good in the Mr. Servicer. Um, yeah, no problem at all. And now we go ahead and paint the first color, which is going to be the MLP 280, the camouflage gray. Okay, so Went ahead and put the camouflage gray down, no problem at all. Um, it actually took a bit to cover it, so I used quite a lot of this actually, surprisingly. Um, but yeah, it took a few couple of coats um, to get coverage. Now, it's probably about a shade lighter than I would like in real life, um, but it's not a problem because we're going to do the wash, we're going to do some weathering, so it's going to bring the shade up a little bit, so it's not such a big deal at all. Um, I think it'll be fine. You can see the other side too. If I turn the light off, you can probably see it more natural light there. Um, so there we are. This colors down, and um, we're done with the first shade. So next up, we're going to do well. Two more colors to go. Right, we've got all the light parts to do, like the nose and all the um, leading edges and stuff. And but first of all, we're going to do the, the camo, which is going to be the Mister Color Free Free Eight Mister Color. Um, and this is what pretty much we've got to go by. So not too much um, information here, but it's a pretty straightforward set. I was going to buy a mask set, but looking at it, it's a pretty, you know, it's all straight lines. We can mask it, no problem at all. It's following panel lines, all that kind of thing. So just going to take a little bit of time just to get this masked off um, using the old Tamiya tape. As always, um, just mask it all up. I'll paint the um, lighter color and I'll kind of, when you come back and see how it looks, I'm going to take the masking off and then we're just left with the leading edges to do. So yeah, that's the side views as well. So pretty much the whole back here is going to be that lighter gray. Okay, just spent a couple of hours watching TV and masking this up, and that's where we're at. So no need for mask set with this one. I'll just save myself 15 bucks. And yeah, pretty straightforward. You use my, excuse me, use my voice. Using Tamiya masking tape, backfilling it with um, just cheap hardware store tape um, just to fill it in. So yeah, not obviously not exact. I'm not pulled out the... Um, ruler or measured anything just kind of went by eye using the panel lines looking at the instructions and that's kind of where i'm at which looking pretty good so now i'm just come back and hit it with a 338 um 
Obviously, a couple of things left. I've been painting this first, take the masking off, um, and then I've still got to paint inside of this, which I'll mask up separately, and also the top of the um, horizontal stabilizers. Just makes it easier to paint this first, and then paint mask and paint those separately. Um, so there we go. So doing that, paint that down, um, 338, which is FS36495. Okay, so we've painted the, the, um, the camo color, and looking really good. Now, the only little thing, it's not a big issue, but this gun's, um, is kind of like a semi-gloss. And it says on a semi-gloss color. So I'm not sure why I do aircraft semi-gloss, but, um, anyway, I mean, once we come back and we, um, you know, give it a clear coat and all that kind of stuff, it's all going to blend in. It won't, you know, it'll be a flat coat eventually. But looking a little shinier, um, but again, we're not worried because it'll be blend in at the very end. So the masking paid off, looking pretty good. A couple of areas here and there might need to just touch up or I might just sand it back and weather it back a little bit. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, there we go. Simple. Um, again, save myself some money from buying a mask set. It wasn't that bad to do. Just a couple of hours work. Um, and there is a fingerprint there, unfortunately. I'll send that back. Um, but there we go. Looking pretty cool. Yeah, this is why I want to do it. Something a little different. It's the usual kind of camouflage gray. Um, on the side, it's just going to be just plain. Nothing going on there. Um, but yeah, so next up, we're going to hit all the, this giant piece of paper in here. Um, we're going to get all the, um, the lighting color, like leading edges and stuff. So this kind of stuff, this, the nose, um, the rudders, basically, you know, all these kind of like, there's a lot of decals on here, which is kind of distorting it, but the main kind of, you see the color there, um, hopefully on this. Maybe the side's better. But I basically hit all these light, like leading edges and lighter parts with um, 306 guns, which is FS36270. So, gonna mask it all up. Um, should be pretty straightforward. Don't jinx it, but it's all straight lines. So, just masking you off, you know, like say these um, the rudders and, and that kind of stuff and um, different leading edges, get it sprayed, and we should be good to go. And we're done with the painting side. So, wow, a lot of masking. I got a trash can for my masking tape. This whole bench was covered in masking tape. But nevertheless, um, handed it by hand and looking pretty good, pretty happy with it. So, obviously, we did a second color, which was the 338, and then we came back from the last light, light gray, um, leading edges and sort of back end here, um, front. Now, the canopy needs a lighter color too, but. Rather than mask it up, I'll just wait till I've done the whole thing. Just, I'm just take the canopy off, paint it separately, and put it back on. It's going to be way easier than having to mask around it. There's no, there's no need to do that. Um, so that's the game plan. Um, so I did all that, and you see it's looking very shiny because I gave it an LP9 um, Tamiya Lacquer Gloss um, Clear Coat. So clear gloss all over it just to seal the paint in, stop any chips or any problems, and also create a beautiful surface to put our decals on because, man, we're going to have tons of these round tape and stuff, tons of decals. Now... A lot of these little gray parts you see around here, um, the lighter gray, I spray painted. Um, Tamiya does have decals for these, but I think it's a lot easier to paint, mask and paint, than having to um, decal all this stuff up. Um, so it will take quite a transformation in color once we get that round tape on. Um, now, it's a couple of things here. So I'm going off track here. I, I'm not, you know, as people who follow my channel know, I'm not all about total accuracy. Um, but I've kind of taken the aggressive theme and then, but look at pictures, it's very shiny, but I went ahead and did a couple of things. So there's some post shading. So in the, in the center of all the, um, the light gray, I had a touch of white to the gray and just came back and, you know, lighted it off. Like I do with all my models, just a great little, little color effect. And, um, it looks like on the pictures, the round tape is the same color as the, um, the paintwork. Whereas I'm going to use the, um, the lighter gray decals just to add some more dimensions, more kind of interest to the model. So again, not totally scale accurate, or whatever, but um, this is where I'm going with this. I'm not going to weather it too because you know, this thing's spotless. It's pretty clean. Um, a little bit, a little bit warm down the front here, but generally on pictures, it's pretty clean. Um, again, I'm just going to weather it. Not go crazy, just a little bit weathering, just to kind of again make it more realistic, I guess, to my eyes. Um, so wrap, wrap it up. The colors one more time, just so you guys don't have to go back and check if, what I've used. Now. The camouflage gray, I will say, I've not sprayed down my pee for a long time. I did put my air pressure up on my compressor a few months ago because I was spraying higher air pressures and I forgot to put it down. And when I hosted it on at like 20 PSI, it didn't go down well at all. But I remembered MRP, low air pressure. So I put it down to like eight, five to eight PSI. And this thing was spraying much nicer and much more controllable and used much less paint. Now it does look a little bit lighter. Um, I know it's just 
didn't mix it well enough or whatever, but normally it looked, when I painted my last few in semi-second scale, it looked a lot like darker. It does look lighter, I'm not overly, com com again, complaining because I know I'm coming back with a dark wash, so I'm going to bring the shade up a not notch or two anyway. But camouflage grey, MRP 280. The light camo is Mr. Hobby Lacquer 338. And 306, sorry for all my little, like leading edge parts um, and around the intakes and stuff. So 306, I would have used Mr. Mr. Color 306, lacquer version. I don't have it, so I just used the Acrius, which is uh, like an alcohol, like Tamiya, like XF, like an alcohol synthetic kind of blend. Um, that's a, on the other side there, you can see it. But yeah, there she is. She's looking really cool. Um, that definitely a lot different to usual, you know, usual gray. It's nice to kind of break it up with some patterns. Masking it was, you know, time consuming, but I just sat down and um, put some TV on for a couple of hours, masked it up, painted one color, took that off, spent a couple more hours and masked up the other areas, the other colors. Just worked my way around, worked my way around the aircraft, and that's pretty much it. So we're done. Next week, we'll come back and do the decals, which I said, like I mentioned, there's lots of them um, all over. Um, we're going to use both both the um, the round details in the kit, plus we're going to use the um, Caracal decal aftermarket ones for the aggressive markings. Um, so there you go. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.